Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2, where Art and I are with our fabulous philosopher, baby boomer friend, Bill Jordan. Bill, good to see you. Great to see you guys. Thanks for having me back. And it's oh, always pleasure. great to be with a fabulous uh, uh, philosopher friend. We have two or three that are not so fabulous, but you are really fabulous, Alan. <laughs> Three and words, yeah. fabulous. Right. So um, I guess uh, what I would like to pose to you, who uh, spends a lot of time thinking about all things philosophic, um, I would say a couple of years ago, uh, you know, when people would say, like, uh, how old do you feel or, you know, how old are you or so on and so forth, I, I guess I'm beyond the age where I felt like I was no longer 35. Uh, but... Uh, I just, I've never felt old. And it seems as if people have broken into categories of they feel as old as they are or older than they are, or they don't feel old. And I have, think it has a lot to do with just the attitude of what we're looking forward to and what we're doing. Um, is this something you've uh, thought about quite a bit? Well, I thought about it recently. My wife asked me, she, did, I mean, point blank, she said, do you think you're old? Okay. All right, I'm 68. Do you think you're old? What would you and I, and I And I had to, well, I'm, I'm, I had to think for a second, and I told her, and I think it's an, and it's an honest answer, no, I don't think I'm old, but I recognize that others do. Others will look at me and I'm an old guy. Sure. You know, the media, you know, during the COVID thing, the elderly, the media had the elderly as anybody over 60. Right. And, and I'm like, are you kidding? Yeah. Um, we had an attack. There was a, a, a vicious assault here in the, in the Raleigh area a few months back. And the guy was my age. And they said, this senior citizen or this elderly man was attacked. I'm going, <laughs> I don't know. It was just, I mean, am I not accepting reality? But I think it is the mental, you know, it's how we look at it. It's our perspective. It's our viewpoint. I think I know some people who are physically, chronologically, they're 30, 35, but mentally they're old. They're done. They're just, yeah. there's no get up and go. There's no reason for them to get up in the morning. There's no drive. There's no mission mm -hmm. in life. Um, and I forgot what the line is, and I think it was attributed to Elvis about what you know, uh, uh, someone to love, someone to love you, and a reason to, 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 you know, chasing something, you know, trying to accomplish something. Those are reasons to live, and I and I've got that. I've got a great family that I love. I believe they love me, and I get up with every morning uh, with something to do, whether it's around the house or you know, in the house, outside of the house, or we're going somewhere, or grandkids and family live nearby. So. Uh, mentally, no, I'm not old. Now, physically, there are days when I go, and we talked about this before, you know you're getting older when you hurt yourself in your sleep. When you get up in the morning and all of a sudden that right knee isn't working like it did when you went to bed. There are physical signs that you're not uh, as young as you used to be. I get winded uh, a little bit easier than I used to, but that may be on me. Maybe I need to do more cardio. Maybe I need to, to walk more. Um, you know, Satchel Paige, baseball pitcher, had that great line. How old would you be if you didn't know, and how he said it, how old would you be if you didn't know how old you was? <laughs> and That's so for me, for me, mentally, I think if you, if, if you were just to put me here and I had no clue, and I didn't see the gray hair or the white hair or whatever, I would guess mentally I'm in my 40s, mid 40s, maybe, with some random nine year old thoughts. <laughs> you know, some you know, it's kind of, in kind head, of we don't change. I don't think we change in our head how we look at things. You know, I, there's still a lot of youth in our minds, I, I think. Oh, sure. 
Yeah, you know, I think what what, what uh, one of the uh, issues is, and it's just a, a, a our audience, we're devoted to people over fifty who maybe thirty or forty years ago were beginning to get to be really old, because that's our parents and grandparents. And by the time they reached their mid fifties, late fifties, sixties, were old, because they didn't live so long after that in right. general. And right. uh, I, I think there's a, this picture of people in their 60s when we were younger that was stooped over and walking with canes. Uh, but people now are living longer, healthier lives, which is what our audience, we're dedicated to that audience. And the vast majority of us, I think, who, who don't have some kind of disease or infirmity are living healthier, more productive lives well into our 70s and 80s. And therefore, unless you have a mindset that you're old, you're not. It's really. Right. Uh, I have. I have relatives, and, and know some other people in their nineties who, gosh, I hope I'm as young as they are when I'm their age, and I plan on being their age. I, I think the the mindset is the number one thing, and, and I think. I, I don't know how to. I don't know how to, phrase this necessarily, but when you look at marketing. And I, I'm making a blanket statement here to say everything, because certainly it's not everything. But a lot of marketing is fear-based. Go buy a magazine rack if you can find one. Go buy a you know Barnes and Noble or a bookstore and look at the women's just just the women's magazines. Yeah. Botox, how to get rid of wrinkles, how to get rid of your laugh lines, lose those love handles. I mean, it is a constant. This, fight against the aging process. If you can get past that and accept where you are and sure, take care of yourself, that's fine. But I think, I mean, I know some women, uh, friends of ours, I mean, they're just beautiful. They're beautiful in their fifties and they would put a 25 year old woman to shame. I mean, but they are so anxiety ridden about wrinkles and their hair color and cellulite and it's they're missing out on life because they're worried about everything. I hate seeing it. So you know everything begins with the mind. I, you know it, that's the driver. Your mind and attitude is where it's at. So um, yeah, physically, you know I, I can't do what I used to do, but mentally, I think I'm I think I'm still okay. I, I say that as I struggle for a word. I'm mentally, I think I'm still okay. <laughs> I'm trying to think of good. You know, I think I'm, uh, yeah. I, that's just me. How do you guys think? I mean, mentally, yeah. I mean, do you, th do you feel older mentally? You might physically, but mentally, you don't probably feel older. Nah. Nah, I, it, it's real simple for me. I embrace the boom. Yeah. As long as, long as my, that's the, as long as I have my cup and it runneth over. There you I, go. I feel young. Well, I tell you what, I mean, you say that, I mean, figuratively, philosophically, my cup does run over. Uh, I'm in a happy, healthy home. Uh, I've got a wife who loves me and I love her. I got my, my daughter and son-in-law nearby and three grandkids, other friends and family that we try to keep in touch with. And I'm still able to get out and, you know, do yard work and get things done. So yeah, my cup truly does runneth over. So if you will accept that, and look for the positives, live your life, forget your age, embrace the boom, baby boomers. Hey, we got it going on. So, Amen to that. Thanks for having me on, guys. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.